Hey yo, what up? It's your boy Hack to the Tech to the Get That Check. And this is my boy Kenny Guido. What's up, Long Island, New York? How's it going, bros? And you know girls. I mean? Shout out to Queens. You know what I mean? Um, and um, we're here to talk about our new podcast we got coming out soon. It's called um, the I Love Freestyle Podcast, where we're going to have a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but, 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 but. No, we're going to have a lot. All right. Um, all I right. got the connections. You got the connections, that's right? True, we that's got hip hop true. and freestyle mixing together. And then we got house. We got everybody coming in, everybody. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of, you know, we're going to have shows at restaurants, in the cars, cars and bars. We got a lot of stuff coming. Exactly. You know, a lot of stuff, stuff that hasn't even been thought of from the other guys out there. So exactly. we got some cool rhythm coming to you. We got some um, smooth styles too. Everything, yep. everything's gonna look awesome and it's gonna sound great. So we're and, gonna have hip hop artists coming through. We're gonna have freestyle artists coming through. We're gonna have people coming through spitting bars, spitting freestyle. You know what I mean? They can't leave without, they can't leave the interview without spitting the freestyle. You, you understand what I'm saying? So they can't leave the show without at least giving us a few bars. It don't matter if it's five bars, six bars, seven bars. You know what I mean? That's the whole point of the show. Everybody that come through got to give us some bars before they leave. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Even even unreleased material. If they got unreleased songs that are coming out, we'd want to hear them. We want to hear those lyrics. You know what I mean? Let us yeah, be the judge. Exactly. They got to spit some bars or whatever they got coming out. Some free, you know what I'm saying? And, Smash or trash, and, do something like that. And we don't want anybody to bite, to bite. No biters. My boy here, Kenny Guido, got a big following right here. Go check his page. Go follow, go follow the page. I love freestyle page on uh, Facebook. Go follow Hack Tech. You know what I'm saying? Follow this page, the I love freestyle um, YouTube page. Go follow Hack Tech TV. Um, how about you? Go to New York Freestyle on Facebook, go to Long Island Freestyle on Facebook, go to New Jersey Freestyle on Facebook, go to iHeart Freestyle on Facebook. It's all over there. Tons of information, lots of uh, news, lots of information. It's 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 great. It's it's all in one spot. You know what I mean? You get everything all in one. So tell me, so tell me, Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Tell me, you know what I mean? Since 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 you're gonna be my partner in this in this in this um in this mute in this podcast world podcast youtube world um i want to ask you a couple questions you know what i mean what's up i want to know i want to know um first of all how long you've been in the game for i've been in the game i'd say since officially 1995 when i um had to do security for a club out in long island and we had cynthia out there and that was that was my first nice. taste of uh you know other than being on one side watching the shows and listening, now I'm actually participating and working with the events, and it was great. It was it was it was great meeting Cynthia backstage. It was an honor to meet her and work with her. Um, and then you know maybe a couple of years later, uh, a bunch of us gathered on a website called Freestyle Nations, and that, that site's been long gone. A guy named Toro used to run it. I forgot his last name. I, I forgive you, Toro. Um, but it took off from there. And then it, w it went to uh, Club Freestyle from Jack G, who I, who actually Johnny Buds, I gotta give credit to Johnny Buds. Johnny Buds helped build Club Freestyle. And when Johnny left, I replaced Johnny. And I, I helped continue to build it until I broke off with Jack because uh, he sold from Sal a fever. So I built NewYorkFreestyle.com and then I built an empire upon that. And, and then my partner um, went and bought Club Freestyle. And no, no, we own them both. So, well, actually, New York Freestyle just closed up. So, but anyway, I still have the High Heart Freestyle page. It's it's huge. It's got over 162,000 people. You know, it's 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 a juggernaut. It's 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 an animal. And um, you know, over the years, I learned who to work with and who not to work with. And you know, there's a lot of a lot of posers out there, a lot of fakes, a lot of fagazies. You know, I just don't I don't want to be around those people anymore. It's just like you know, I got a nice little tight family right now. Hex been my boy for a long time now. Dude, the shit that we've been talking about, planning on doing, it, it's 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 phenomenal. And I trust this guy like he's my own brother right now, okay? Amongst exactly. anybody out there, this is the guy, this is the real deal right here. Real deal. 
You know, we shared Thank so many brother. stories about our, our trials and tribulations and you know, we just we just learned upon each other and just like, you know what, let's let's put our two minds together. It's a bond. We and bonding. Exactly, and do something great over, for the people. Take over the masses. Now, um um another question I wanna ask you. Um you just spoke about a lot of posers and all of this. Can you just name like a few? <laughs> I don't want to know like two or three. Um, you know what I mean? Mm. Give me like two or three. I mean, mm. I, I would love to, but like you know, it'd be throwing them under the bus. All right, literally. All right. I, I, feel I mean, they knew who they are out there. You know what I mean? Those are the I guys feel. that used to come to me for advice and help. I can you know? dig it. You know, I can feel. I feel. Yeah, I feel but, the same way. You, you know, know when, I mean? when they when they stopped coming to me, it's like okay, uh, Kenny, you gave them a little bit too information, and you know they don't want to come back and and you know get help from you so you cut them off you know that's when you know you cut them off true i feel you know and you just you just go on yourself and you, you're just like you, you know don't look back and you know you think positive you think about life ahead of you know ahead of you don't think about anything that's behind you that's a long time though since 95 wow yeah, yeah. So you, Be you before that history. before now, that i was just hitting the clubs on long island you know it was just fun it was just fun long island long island had clubs all over the place who would want to leave long island we had you know a club every other town we had escapes sin city um you know you, you can have liquor stand um uh alonzo 107 of master you know, i mean i remember i remember um you know the reason why us two feel so strong about this the show and we know is it's about to do really well is because um we um he has History with both hip hop and freestyle, just like I have history with both freestyle and hip hop. Like, I like I grew up I grew up in Queens, right? But I also I also grew up in Brooklyn, where my older cousins used to always blast freestyle when I was a little kid. You know, we're talking about Stevie B, we're talking about Cynthia, we're talking about TKA. And my dude right here knows these people personally. You know what I mean? He knows these people personally. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's why that's why I feel like we have a good bond. You know what I mean? Because um, freestyle is a sort is hip is hip hop in a way, yep, right? Yep. They say freestyle was the bastard child of hip hop. There you go. You know, hip hop derives from you know they they say it was from the group uh, Kraftwerk from I can't, England maybe I can't remember what but that was back in 79 I think 78 and then the other the other uh, groups followed you know uh, Sugar Hill Gang and there you, you know, go. Planet Patrol and you know and you know they, they all followed suit but every, they all combined rap with a little dance that was what made it so intriguing you know you yep. had hip hop then you had hip hop a little dance it was kind of like a little twist and then you know a lot of a lot of the Italians came in and worked on on the early freestyle. Um, a lot of African Americans worked on early freestyle. Um, it wasn't until probably like freestyle, 80, freestyle, 45 until the, the Spanish Latins came. Freestyle in. was all Italians and Puerto Ricans. No, actually, in the beginning it was it was done by blacks and Italians, believe it or not. Really? And then and then the Puerto Rican Latins started coming in and then making it better and just building on top of that. And then nice. you know everybody just worked together. It was all it was unity. You know what I mean? But you know you heard stories about you know the record labels, you know payola at the radio stations, and then you know squeezing the little guy out. That's why there was so much freestyle back in the day you didn't hear because See, he the big knows, labels were squeezing them out. He knows more than me. He knows more than me about this. You know what I mean? But I know hip hop was blacks and Latinos. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You're the, the white kids too that listen to yeah. hip hop. You know you you had you had the white boys from the hood. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Of course, of course, we can never leave the white boys from the hood out. You know what I'm saying? You but when you went out to the club, it was all it was all good because it was all music. It was just you know, exactly. yeah, no fights. You know, guy would no catch race. his girlfriend out it wasn't there. about race. It's all about it's all about the culture. It's all about um music. It's all about having fun. Yep. It's all about you know what I mean. It's all exactly you know what I'm saying. It got nothing to do with race. Nothing to do with race. You know what I mean? It was all fun. But, all good um, and fun. But um, that's why. We got this show about to come out. You know what I mean? It's called the I Love Freestyle. Everybody, put that in your heads. We'll have we'll have comedy sketches in there. We'll have you know we'll have well cooking segments. I can teach you guys how to make Argentinian empanadas. All right. <laughs> you know, heck over here. I could show you. Uh... Uh, I could show you. <laughs> well, they already see me eating all types of food all the time, man. You know what I mean? I already got food, food, food. Uh, 
um, shows of me eating all types of stuff. And they they crack on me. They they go hard on me. You know what I'm saying? They go hard on me in the comments. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't care about the haters. It's all good. Keep keep hating. You know what I'm saying? But y'all going to love this show. Y'all going to love this show. You know what I mean? Because it's all about music. It's all about real music. And it's all about... What, and the what? times, and the times, what we're going through right now, you know, what, yeah. what we want to do, you know what I mean? I'm, I don't want to bring up this, you know, crap with COVID and everything, but, you know, nah. I want to start having fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, let, let's, let's, let's put the bad shit away and just start having fun. Even though New York City's not going to be, be able to have fun for the next 20 years because the way it is, and you can thank, you know, certain people for it, but... <laughs> you know, it is what it is. You know, we're gonna have like uh, we're gonna start having like underground house parties in our you know houses again. You know what I mean? Back in back in the eighties, we used to do that. You know, so well, I don't mind. Let's do it again. You know, keep the cops out of our houses. You know. Yeah, facts. That's a fact. My boy Kenny know what he's talking about, man. Kenneth is gonna be heck to the tech to the get the check and the Kenny Guido. I love freestyle podcast show. Yeah, make boy. Make sure you tune in. We're gonna have Flavor Flav in the back seat with the clock on, in the middle, just bopping, we're, bopping to the some tunes. We're gonna, we're gonna have uh, Hurricane DJ Hurricane to the Beastie Boys. We're gonna have, uh, dude, so um, so many, so many rappers and, and hip hop, and you know, Danny Boy from uh, House of Pain. Uh, uh, oh. dude, so DMC, we're gonna have Dean here. Ooh, uh, that's a big you know, I, a lot. There's a legends, lot, there's a lot legends, on our plate. Legends, a lot on our plate. Legends. You know, I remember, I remember, I met, I met, um, I met him once on Jamaica Avenue. Who, uh, D or Hurricane? Oh, not Hurricane. Uh, D? Yeah. I met him once on Jamaica Avenue. And, and Run, I met at Green Acres. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Yo, I was really young. I, no, I met, I met, I met, um, I met Run at Green Acres and I met DMC on Jamaica Avenue. I was like eight years old. Yeah. I was like eight years old and I was just walking past with my mother and I saw him surrounded by people. You know what I'm saying? And he's tall, right? He mad tall, right? D? Yeah. He pretty tall because I could see him. I could see him like this in his hat. You, you know what I'm saying? The hat and the glasses. And I was like, oh, snap, that's DMC. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I remember, you know what I mean? I was like, that's DMC. And I met Run at Green Acres. I was walking into, um, um, I, I was walking into a record store in Green Acres. I forgot the name of it. I, I forgot the name of it. I was mad young too. I yeah, was a yeah. kid. I, you know what I mean? But um, I I remember he had this green leather. I'm um, no, um, a blue, a a blue Averex jacket. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A blue a blue Averex yeah. jacket. He was walking into the record store, and I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh snap, that's that's run, that's run. You know what I mean? I went up to him. I got his autograph. I think I still got it to this day. You know what I'm saying? I still but, got my uh, run autograph too. Where, oh, I, met, I met him in Adventureland. How you met him? Adventureland in Farmingdale back in oh, like really? 91. And then maybe a year later I went back and then Flavor Flav was there. Wow. I was like, oh, this is a cool, you know, it's a cool amusement park over here. That's you know? crazy. But, um, you know, you know, D, you know um, run signed it for me. Flavor didn't want to sign anything, so. Oh, you know, snap. It, he didn't know, want to sign they were, it. They were both with their daughters, too. And and, and Run, you know, he you know he signed it. It was, you know, but Flav was like, you know, I, I overheard him, you know, like maybe five minutes before my friend came over, who was a huge Flavor Flav fan. And he's like, no autographs, no autographs. So I called my friend Sean, comes right over. And I'm like, he's not going to sign any autographs. He's like, yeah, he's going to do it for me because I dressed like him for Halloween back in 1989. And, you know, he dissed him. He dissed my friend Sean. I'm like, <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? like, I'm like, my boy still wasn't smooth enough to get an autograph from Mud. Uh, from Flavor Flav. Wow. It is what it is, you know? But uh, my friend Sean, he was he was, um, he was was um, a rapper too. He was an aspiring rapper. He was like, you know, he was a white Jewish kid and he had that sound mm -hmm. like of uh, Slick Rick. He had, you know, very charismatic. Uh, he he sounded sound like he had a slight little accent, slight little English accent. But you know, he was a great rapper and then um, um, he ran into a producer who was working on material and yeah. then he started speaking to somebody about his, his financial future and um you know 
he started cutting hair. He, you know, he went to school for cutting hair, became a barber, and then he's like, you know, he, he read an article one day and he said that, you know, he read that Public Enemy was racist against white people and he never wanted to listen to him again. Wow. You know, I'm like, I'm like, you know, but you know, people get turned off for the you know wrong and right reasons sometimes. You know what I mean? It could happen. You know, you know? what I mean? It could happen. Yeah. But um, he had he had a really good career at rapping, and you know, it could happen. You know, like uh, you know, it really could happen. You know, him and I, we used to I go mean, to concerts all I mean, the time. I mean, it's really, it's really, it's really hard for um, for white cats and Latinos to get into hip hop nowadays. Especially white, because you get laughed at. I mean, you know. Well, you're exactly. Not, you're not gonna be an M&M. Nowadays, nowadays, it's easier for black and white white kids to get into to to hip hop. Bro, I think Spanish Spanish is more easier than white. Nah, bro, yo, the, the uh, who was the, the last fam- who was the last famous white rapper that you remember? I can name a few, man. Well, who's the biggest one? All right, Mac, lately, Mac Miller. Okay. Um, Machine Gun Kelly. All right. Um, Lil Peep. Oh uh, yeah, okay, uh, okay. They are they are uh, getting more uh, repetitive. Uh, okay, uh, uh, but but he but he overdosed on drugs. Um, um, little people overdosed on drugs. Mac Miller overdosed on drugs. Yeah, Machine Gun Kelly's still out there. He doing his thing. Of course, Eminem. He was the biggest one. But if you check the underground, the underground rappers, we got L. Bell. Yeah, we got Necro. We got, we got, um, we got, we got Mr. Hyde. <laughs> we got Heck Tech. I got Italian in my blood. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got Mr. Hyde. We got, um, I could keep going and keep going on and on. You know what I mean? I could keep going on and on. The rappers in the underground. We got Vinny Paz, Italiano. We got, um, Apathy. We got, we got, um, uh, so. See, right now the underground has to rebuild and regroup. Well, they it, say that 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 the underground is the afterlife of real hip hop. Yeah, you it is. I mean? It is. I mean, when when freestyle died in like '92, you know, there was um, there was nothing <clears throat> for about a year, maybe I would say, maybe a year and a half, and then all of a sudden, La Mega ninety-seven point nine started playing on Friday nights freestyle like three hour blocks and they were playing freestyle that would never played on the radio before stuff that was you know forbidden kept off the air from the other big labels and you know it started picking up steam and then you know probably a couple years later was it maybe 96 that's when ktu came out and ktu you know helped freestyle you know with new life and everything but you had a lot of underground artists who were called the new generation of freestyle and they literally went nowhere there was probably maybe one artist, Frankie J, that came out of New School Freestyle that actually became top 40 megastar. You know, the other ones, you know, they, you know, Willie Valentine, Cynthia Figueroa, Philip Anthony, uh, Manny, you know, they, they tried, they struggled, and, it, you know, there just wasn't, you know, um, an audience there big enough for them. You know what oh, I mean? yeah, another thing. We got a big surprise. We might have a third host with us. And who's a that going to be? Host. Third host. This is news to me. Male, female? A male. I'm okay. Mm. Oh, you never, he, you never know. He's you your know. boy, not my boy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right? Am I right yeah, or wrong? Yeah, yeah. Maybe or what? Yeah, I would say yes. Yes? I thought it was Tony. Oh, Tony. Yeah, we, I, I think... Tony Baloney. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tony from TKA. Yes, yes. We might have a third, a third host. Hosting with us, you know what I'm saying? If these haters don't get in the way and start talking to them, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you know I think he's in Florida right now, so I gotta, I gotta uh, hit him up today when I get home. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, man. So I guess that's it. So tune in. Make sure you tune in. Our first, we're gonna have our first episode with our first guest real soon. We're gonna start setting it up. The boy hack to the tech to the get that check. Boy, Kenny Guido. To be continued. And you already know, we are like this. Chuck, make sure you stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and um, follow. Follow the page. Definitely follow it. Follow and the rate pages. the page. On top, it says rate this page. Please rate it with a five, okay? Go check us on Instagram, too, man. Don't forget that. All social media platforms, all right? Bust it. We out. One.